2005, we had the quad pedal robot codenamed Big Dog. In 2018, we had the PlayStation game Detroit Become Human. I'm guessing you can understand what that game was about. And most recently in August of 2024, we had female robots at the International Robot Show. My name is Jeff, a.k.a. G-Curse. Welcome to another G-Curse Reacts. Today, I will be reacting to a video from Fully Charged Zone. It was called Sexy Robots Steal the Show at the International Robot Exhibition. And these robots are Chobbit's level of, oh my god. We are, we, we're, we're seriously entering uh, a new frontier, ladies and gentlemen. And I think I can imagine how this shit happened. But as always, if you like what you're watching, which I hope you are, please click that subscribe button, click the bell, click the like, and we will be learning about some sexy robots, apparently, that was recently unveiled. Uh, I think I know how this all happened, ladies and gentlemen. What I think was, I think this took place like back like 80, not the 1980s. A guy or woman, I don't know, I don't know, hey, I'm not going to judge. A guy or woman went to, it was in high school, they went to somebody that they had a crush on, and they are like, hey, would you like to go to the prom with me? And he or she replied, no fucking way, you're ugly, you have glasses, you're prematurely balding, you're fat, your name is Jeff. Anyway, that person said, you know what? I'm going to build a robot and make your ass obsolete. 20 plus years later, that shit is starting to happen, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, Skynet is literally two steps away. It is two steps away, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, I, 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 if they look this nice, I, w I personally welcome our new female robot overlords. Okay, okay now that I have to re-record this because I stupidly thought I had my microphone on and I did not. So let's get back to this, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this was t uh, recorded recently, and these robots are, like, next level. Holy shit. I, I, I'll be honest, I didn't think we were this close, but... We're, we're, we're approaching that, uh, we're approaching that, that level of realistic looking robots pretty damn quickly. It's giving Chobbits, it's giving any kind of, uh, robot anime, you know, human looking robot anime. It's giving it a run for its money. We're, we're pretty damn close to Skynet levels of, uh infiltrator robots, I guess you could say. So let's actually get to this, ladies and gentlemen. I've got something wild to share with you. I just got back from the robot exhibition, and let me... Look at how real these things are. Yeah, they, they still have a ways to go, you know. But, I mean, like, imagine if this was, like, the 1980s. This shit wasn't even possible at that time. Uh, we, like, if you're thinking, well, what about Terminator? Terminator is, like, stop motion with props. These are literal robots. And, and damn, like I said, I welcome our new overlords if they're going to be looking like this tell you damn the future's robots are looking a whole lot sexier than we ever imagined so picture this we're talking about robots with curves swaggers and a strut that will make your jaw drop these bots are designed to mimic human movement down to the smallest detail they've got these artificial limbs and hips that are so realistic it makes you think what the future holds the way they this this is literally the result of basically guy you know guys men and women literally being kind of denied companionship this in my opinion is the fallout from that how many times have we seen a video on youtube that talks about the male loneliness uh, epidemic the female loneliness epidemic this is a result of that i would not be shocked if we have male designed robots coming out pretty damn quickly right after these females hit the uh Hit the stores, I guess, as you could say. Walk makes you think about hips, lips, and fingertips. This is a runway show of the future. 
Now let's talk about those artificial limbs and hips. They're sleek, smooth, and move with an elegance that's just mesmerizing. You'd almost forget they're robots. And yes, you, you, you heard me right. Did I just see a camel toe? Uh, some of these... Um, I was out grocery shopping yesterday morning at about 4 a.m. And I literally came across, uh, uh, basically it was a self, self-guided self robotic floor cleaning unit. And I was watching one of those females do its walking. And it reminded me so much of that robot I saw cleaning uh, the grocery store. Basically, it was going in a straight, going in a straight line. It came across a worker who was stalking one of the uh, displays. The the robot actually stopped and then navigated around the worker. This shit is real, ladies and gentlemen. It's real and it's getting here pretty damn quickly. Designs were so anatomically accurate. It's like they've crossed the line between machinery and well, something a bit more sexy. It's both fascinating and a little bit unsettling. Overall, the exhibition was a huge success. It gave us a closer look at what the future holds for these sexy robots. The blend of cutting-edge technology and design is paving the way for robots that are not just functional, but also aesthetically appealing. Who knew the future would be this attractive? All right, folks, that's it for today. It isn't just the fact that it's you know, visually appealing. It's also that it's getting here so damn quickly. It seems just a couple of years ago that were, we were talking about the big breakthrough of like generative AI. And, you know, back in, like I showed that image in 2005, we had that robot, that four legged robot that could run. We've gone from that to generative AI to this. It, it's just amazing how quickly technology can really, uh, can really, uh, you know, jump by leaps and bounds. Today's video, make sure to hit that like button. If you're as blown away by these robots as I am, please subscribe for more crazy content coming your way. Until next time, thank you for watching Fully Charged Zone. Okay, so that was it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, wait, hold on, let's turn that off. Let's turn this on, there you go. Overall, I, I'm I'm actually excited to see what there is. This is going to shut up a lot of people who are really vain. That's like, oh, nobody's ever going to go for you. You know, who who's going to want you? You're too fat. You're too ugly. You're not rich. You're not you're you're not in my league. Those kind of vanity type people are really going to become fucked when they literally see somebody that they turn down you know, a few years earlier, literally walking with something that can, that will soon one day be able to walk normal. Not, you can still tell that these things are robots by the way they walk, but we're getting to the point, ladies and gentlemen, that they're going to be able to walk, talk, look, smell. They're going to be able, probably even to able to, uh, you know, have, uh, Im 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 imitate, no, imitate, sorry, imitate. They're going to soon be able to imitate breathing, possibly. We're getting to a point that uh, we could have a problem here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you know, it's going to get to the point like where guys may who may feel uh, disenfranchised by getting into a relationship because they may have had problems in the past. They may see these things as an alternative. And because of that, they may never want to even try to have a human experience. And I, I personally believe that there's a lot of factors to this. A lot of it is what you see on television, what you see in the magazines. On television, you see uh, vi uh, shows like The Bachelor and The Bachelorette. And literally, it is just beautiful looking people. Because that's what society has really kind of hammered into us. That if you're not beautiful, you can't have, a, you can't have the happy ending, you know. And it's the same way, like I said, with The Bachelorette. You know, it, it's, it, it goes across both genders. But yeah, I, I can't wait to see by 2030 what these robots look like. Now, that's six years away, you know, a little under, a little over six uh, years or under six years, whatever. But I can't wait to see what they look like at 2030. And I'll make you a bet. I'll make you a bet. The people who are really vain and really into looks and the size of your wallet they're going to be the ones that have the most fucking fits because of the fact 
that they will no longer be able to go, you know, I want you because you're rich or I want you because you look good because those people may just get a, a, a you know, uh, one of these robots because those robots will not be programmed to say no. You want that robot to do something freaky to you, it will. So basically, men and women, we're in trouble. Okay, so that's it, ladies and gentlemen. You like what you watch? Click that subscribe button, click the bell and the like, and I'll see you for the next video. This is Jeff, aka Geekers, wishing you all a great day. Stay safe and happy Labor Day, everybody. Peace out.